Shalom, friends. Hello, all. I'm Rabbi Bachir, dropping in for a brief moment from my home in San Francisco. I want to talk about love. I want to talk about love in the context of the Jewish calendar and an upcoming holiday called Tuba Av, in Hebrew, meaning the 15th of the month of Av. Today, it's often called the Jewish Valentine's Day, and I want to point out that in this month of Av, we find another holiday just a week before the one celebrating love, a date on the calendar called Tisha B'Av, meaning the ninth of the month of Av. Friends, the mood of both dates could not be more contradictory. One commemorates destruction, loss, and really, really bad behavior and the other invites us to put on white clothing and dance beneath the full moon to sing, which all signals to others that we're available for romance. We are in the mood for love. I'm inspired by the paradox of these two dates in the month of Av because it reminds me that celebrating love in its many forms, platonic, romantic, love for self, for child, for pet, neighbor, for parent, can and does emerge on the heels of its opposite, as if to say, yeah, we know, we know so well that hearts get broken, that walls go up and are torn down, that wars happen, that people we love get sick, that we get sick but we can choose a loving stance. Let's choose love as an antidote, this seems to be saying to us. Let's love each other up in ways that surprise and delight us and those we love. After the mourning and grieving of Tisha B'Av, we can experience the swelling of joy and love under the full moon of Tu B'Av. So grab some friends, dress up in white, grab a bottle of wine or grape juice and go dance under the full moon and love each other up. With so much love, may it be so. Can you hear that song?